Hi, my name is Ken Lumla, 19 years of age from Zilian community. I will be narrating a folk tale of Talongding who turned into a hornbill. Once upon a time, in a Zilian village called Benro, there lived a young man whose mother died when he was a little boy. He was taken care of by his stepmother as his father remarried. As he grew, looking after the field became his responsibility. The young man had two girlfriends. The three of them shared a close bond with one another. And since stealing of land involves intensive work, they would often take turns and work together one field at a time. It was such a time as this. Whenever time comes for the young man to go to the field, the stepmother packs his stiffin filled with red shit. It has gone on for some time, and in order to curb his embarrassment, he eats food alone over the field's hut. One day, curiosity led the two girls to prop into the matter. To their surprise, they discover that the tiffin is indeed filled with red shit. So they decided to exchange the young man's tiffin with theirs. When the time came for lunch, as usual, he went about to excuse himself. This time too, the two girls failed in their pursuance to let him stay. He failed to comply to their request. He declines and takes his usual route. Later, upon sitting down to have his meal, he finds that the red sheet is gone from his tiffin. He knew at the instant that the duo has exchanged their tiffin with his. Embarrassment and shame came upon him. In the evening, as they were walking back home, the young man asked Shaul from one of the girls, from the latter he asked Emekala. After getting them, he clothes himself and climbs an enormous tree. The girl's request for him to come down fails miserably. It was getting dark. While on the tree, the young man transforms himself into a beautiful hornbill. Prior to his transformation, he told the girls to convey the message that he will not be coming home. He also told them that he along with the other hornbills would one day come to visit the village. Moreover, he requested them to do weaving work when he comes. After that, the hornbill flew away. As for the girls, they walked home with sadness that day. Few years later, one fine morning, True to his words, the hornbills came and hovered round the village. As the girls weaved in the open, they saw a hornbill leading the group. When the hornbills came near them, the one who was leading the group releases beautiful feathers to the two girls. They each receive a feather. Seeing the happiness of the girls, the stepmother who saw the whole ordeal asked the hornbill to give her one too. The hornbill then asked the woman to open her mouth, and when the woman did so, the hornbill threw shit in her mouth. Embarrassment filled the woman, and she curses the hornbill never to come back over the village. It is said that, from that day onwards, the hornbill never came back. The moral of the story is, cycle of deeds always gives us back what we give to others. Thank you.